Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the curtailment of bars in beam or simply the cutting of the reinforcement bars in the beam. Why we do the curtailment of bars and why we need this curtailment of bars, we will discuss this topic in this lecture today. So basically, there are two main things in our civil engineering structures. The first thing is the safety that our structure should must be safe. The second important thing is the economy of the structure. That our structure should also be economical structure. It should not be too expensive structure. So what we do for the economy, we do curtainment of the bars and beams. So this lecture will only provide the cutting or the curtainment of the bars in the beam in order to make it economical structures or economical beam sections. So let's consider this is in a beam. This horizontal member shows the beam. And this beam is a continuous beam as it passes through the columns. And these vertical members are the columns on both sides of the beam. Columns. This is the general shape or you can see the free body diagram of the RC structure where it is composed of the beam and column. So these are the columns and the beam is passed throughout the columns where we mostly see such type of the structures. Now, if we look to the beam upon loading on this beam, so it will show some bending moment. So if we draw the bending moment diagram for this structure, so it will look like this. It will show maximum bending moment at the center of the beam. So this will be look this will be the bending moment diagram for the beam upon the loading. So this is, let's suppose, in uniformly distributed load acting on the beam, UDL. So the beam will show the bending moment like in this way. So this is the bending moment diagram for the continuous beam. So the maximum positive bending moment we can see here, the maximum positive moment here at the midsection of the beam, this will be the positive bending moment. And here at the column, there will be the negative bending moment of the beam. So for this section, if we consider this section of the beam, so the, the reinforcement will be provided at the bottom of the beam because the tensile stresses are maximum at the bottom of the beam. So we provide the steel bar here at the bottom section in order to resist the uh, tensile stresses in the beam or to, to resist the bending moment which occurs at the bottom portion of the beam. At the column sections here, where we have negative bending moment, what we do here, the cross section will look in another way. The most of the bars will be provided at the top of the beam in order to resist the tensile stresses at the top section of the beam. Because at the column portion, there will be maximum negative bending moment at the top of the beam, at the top section of the beam. That's why we provide most of the steel bars on top of the beam section and the negative beam section because there is a maximum bending moment, negative bending moment here at this portion. So for negative bending moment, we provide the steel bar at the top of the beam section and for positive bending moment, we provide the bars, the steel bar at the bottom of the beam section. Now this was the main concept. Now how we curtail or cut the steel bars in the beam section in order to make the economical beam section. So this was the free body diagram. Now look to this a beam. Similarly this, this section are the beam, the horizontal members and these vertical members are the columns on both sides of the beam. This is a similar uh, shape of this free body diagram but this is more in detail as we can see in 2D. So, because of the highest bending moment at the midsection of the beam, we provide the steel bar here. We can see here in this way. But here at this portion, we don't need. We can see here, the positive bending moment is maximum and then it is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing and there is zero maybe here. So, we don't need here the positive bending moment here at this portion of the beam. You can clearly see there is a negative bending moment. So, we don't need the reinforcement bar to pass through this section. So what we do, we cut the bars here at this, up to this limit. So we cut the bars and we don't allow the bars, the longitudinal steel bars to go into the column section. 
So this is known as the curtailment of the bar in the beam section in order to make it economical beam section. So how much this distance should be? It should must be cut out and how much should this distance be on both sides of the beam? So this distance should be equal to the L by 8 and L by 8 where L is the length of this beam. This is the length. So L by 8 and L by 8 there should be no bar placed on both sides of the beam in order to avoid the cost, higher cost of the beam section. So if we consider the total length of the beam is 12 meter. So L by 8 comes out to be, if I divide 12 by 8, it comes out to 1.5 meter. And similarly here 1.5 meter. So on 1.5 meter here and 1.5 meter from here, we, we have to cut this steel bar on both sides. Now, look, looking to the negative beam bending section, negative bending moment, here we have maximum negative bending moment, but no positive bending moment. So we have to provide the bars at the top section of the beam. Here also, at the top section of the beam, we have to provide the steel bar. So what we have to do, we have to provide the steel bar like in this way. And I have to resist the tensile stresses at the top section of the beam. But how much this steel bar should go and how much here at this. So this distance will be equal to L by 3 and L by 3 on both sides. Here because we don't need the steel bar to go further into the beam section. Because there is no bending moment here at this section of the beam. Because it will come down again into the positive section. Here again it will come down into the positive section. So we only need the reinforcement at this section of the beam, at this section of the beam, at this portion. And this portion is recommended by the ACI 318-14 that it should be L by 3 and L by 3 on both sides of the beam. So L is the total length 12 meter. So L by 3 comes out to be, dividing 12 by 3 it comes out to be 4 meter. 4 meter here, 4 meter here and 4 meter here. So 4 meter the steel bar should be prolonged. So 4 meter is the length of the steel bar on one side and 4 meter on the other side, similarly here and here. So we don't want the steel bar to go into this section because we don't have negative bending moment at this portion of the beams. We don't have negative bending moment, that's why we don't need to provide the steel bar here. So this is the reason that why we do containment of the bars because we don't need the bars in the sections where there is no bending moment. So it all, uh, this containment of bars all depends upon the bending moment diagram. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.